<laughs> you get two tons of fun mail. Chuck Hughes, we love him. Rush Lacour, author, celebrity chef. This is different for you. We're cooking Mexican cuisine, which happens to be one of my faves in yours, too. I mean, I, I spent quite a bit of time in Mexico. I've been many, many times. I actually shot a special there. And, uh, you know, I always love Mexico. And, and when I actually got a chance to, to go there and, and visit and be immersed, uh, I totally fell in love. And, and honestly, it changed my life. What was the inspiration for going down there? Mm. Uh, learning Spanish, learning more about Mexican food and, and the people and the regions. And, you know, it's, it's kind of like comparable to Canada in the way that, you know, it's so vast, it's so different. We have the mountains, the oceans, the prairies. I mean, Mexico has the same. Uh, it has so much to offer. I mean, it even snowed when I was there in, in, in August at the wow. top of a volcano. Were they, so, were they confused? Well, no, they, they, they knew about it. I was okay. confused. Yeah. Yeah. I, was, I was very You're confused. Sure. I was very confused. But so let's talk about some recipes because yeah. it's very different when you actually go outside into people's homes, into the little mom Obviously. and pop shops, right? It's a very different cuisine, very authentic. I, and the beauty of this here is really it's kind of a shrimp cocktail Mexican style right. and, the, and the way they do it is kind of within the same ingredients that we would use they only put them together differently and okay. they kind of put it uh, you know they, they add a little bit of a different flavor so to start um, you want clamato Tomato, tomato juice. Okay, so all we're gonna do here is really, it's really, really simple. We're gonna shake it all in a shaker and then we're gonna pour it on top. Your shaker doesn't have a lid though. You're gonna manage. Right? <laughs> That's why you're gonna be taking okay. care of that. You're gonna be back. The, okay, the secret shaker. ingredient. Secret ingredient. What ketchup. Is ketchup. Si. Un poquito ketchup, okay? You have to. You have to. Cumin, okay, just a pinch. Yep. Salt, pepper, garlic. Garlic. A little garlic. Okay, a little bit, just a touch, not too much. Yep. And a little bit of fresh horseradish. Ooh, a little kick. Okay. So you have your salt, you have your sweet, and you have your Beautiful. little acid. Nice. So, should I... Uh... <laughs> Go for it, Chuck. You know what? Shake it here, up. Here. Brad, Bradley. you're from Montreal, you can have this. By the way, right. a bromance is happening right now. Brad said that you are not only... Here it in like that. So this is all mixed up and yeah. ready to tomato. go. Tomato. You know, you put a little bit of tomato. Cilantro. Not only is it clam juice, but it's got the clam from my hands. There and, you go. And um, I was surprised to see, I can never say this either, Worcestershire. Yeah, Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Yes. Worcestershire. A little bit. That's, that's something that's kind of served on the side. A little bit of hot yeah. sauce on the side. A little bit of this. This is um, your hot sauce, by the way. You can only get it at your restaurant in Montreal. Yeah, you can only actually steal it at my restaurant if you want. <laughs> that's probably the best way. So you don't way. care if people walk out with it. A little bit of avocado on top. Yum. Obviously, you want to season wow. that just a touch, just like that. Really, really simple. You know, the thing with Mexico is that you have to live it to believe it. You have to be there. You have to experience it. You have to go. You know, we were talking earlier about the fact that, you know, a lot of Canadians are going to Mexico. Yeah. A lot of Canadians are going back. And every time they find something new. You know, you're going to a resort. That's great. Walk three blocks away. And you're in the most authentic Mexico you can find. A whole different you know? world. And just explore, try. I mean, people are... Um, you know, probably the friendliest, and they're, they're really excited about food culture, and and you know they're they're going to draw passionate. you in. They want to share, and that's why I I've like I really I fell in love, and it definitely changed my life because I, I saw another side of of the world that's you know maybe awesome. not all about the phones and all Off about the, the Wi-Fi. Yeah. And, you know, I, I recognize that, you know, family is still important. Simple, clean you ingredients know? and sharing. For example, when you do when you do have a cocktail, it looks so beautiful. Is it for two people? I mean, how many shrimp do you put in there? Does You know what? When it comes to food, 
Yeah. I don't like to put quantities because I eat go. way too much. <laughs> so I would say whatever you're going to put, add two extra. <laughs> there you go. Okay? Awesome. For more information, ChuckHughes.ca. You can chat with him online tomorrow between 6 to one? 7 p.m. Or try it. Visit Mexico.com slash A Taste of Mexico in Canada for the live chat. Again, chat with Chuck tomorrow, 6 to 7 p.m. online. Yes. Go to ChuckHughes.ca or visit Mexico.com slash A Taste of Mexico in Canada. This Cheers. A little bit of lime juice right on top there wow. to finish it off. Your dream's coming true. You said you wanted to taste and cook with him live on TV and it's happening. Cheers. Cheers so much. Cheers. It's all yours, guys. Enjoy. Melody, over to you. Mm -mm.